So I was using the ATM machine on the right hand Pamela side. Bongiorno shows how she got scammed at this ATM. I went up to go use the machine on the right. I inserted my card. It didn't work. Then a man in line offered advice. The fellow that was on the sidewalk came up and said, oh, if you have the chip in your card, you can tap it. So Pamela tapped her card. This time it worked. She got her cash, thanked the man, and walked off. The next morning, I looked at my bank account. To her shock, Pamela saw three more withdrawals from her account. $940 was gone. I said, that guy scammed me last night at the ATM machine. I didn't think anything of it. I thought he was just using the ATM. The same thing happened to Rob Bell at the same ATM. When the card reader didn't work, a man leaned in. That person said, oh, there's a problem with the, with the slot function. You have to use the tap function. So Rob tapped his card, took his cash, and walked off. Later, he found two accounts had been drained. $565 gone. My initial reaction was, wait a second. I definitely did not withdraw that much money. I have no need for $1,000 cash. Justin Sindelar tapped his Apple Watch at that ATM and withdrew $40. Later, he found five more withdrawals in a row. $960 was gone. So I think someone walked up to the ATM right after I used it and then withdrew money from, from the account again. Victims complained to the bank manager. She said, I've reported this to the police. You know, it's happening up and down Mission Street. The manager told Pamela how the scam works. It starts with glue. They put glue in the card reader of the ATM machines so you can't use your cards. So customers tap their card instead. And here's the trick. When you tap, the account remains open for more transactions unless the customer proactively logs out. Some customers don't know this, but scammers do. They wait for the victim to leave, then walk up and continue making withdrawals on their account. All three victims filed a fraud claim with Chase Bank. All three were denied. The bank said the customers authorized those withdrawals. And... That's definitely not true. This is ridiculous. Why would I do four separate transactions right in a row? And they should have a picture of who actually did. Victims said Chase would not review surveillance video because the amounts were below $5,000. So Pamela filed her claim again and again and again. Chase finally replaced her money. And after our inquiries, the bank refunded Justin and Rob, too, telling us when using an ATM, be vigilant in protecting your PIN number and making sure you have logged out of your account. I will never use that little tap function again at an ATM machine.